Thank you for watching and subscribing to NATV Network, New Attitude TV. Um, I just have a question. Will he ever let me go? Nope. I didn't think so. That's what my therapist says to me. My psychiatrist says he owns you. He will never let you go. And no, it, like I'm, I'm like witness protection program living. Yeah. You were gonna say Leo? So not. Yeah. What happens is you, you're the trophy that got away. He needs that trophy on his mouthpiece. So if he was to like to cut your hair bald or throw he acid, to pull it out. He used to beat me. And it's sadly that you healed. I mean, you good thing that you healed and grew your hair back. But to him, oh, your hair's grown back. I don't see those bruises, so it didn't happen. I had to have but surgery. You, re you mm -hmm. recover, right? You dare? You got? How dare you get away from me? I mm -hmm. own you. Yeah. So he mm -hmm. he'll never stop, never, because it's like that like i mentioned earlier that narcissistic injury i don't have those injuries i had those injuries i did stalk an ex-girlfriend for about a year and nights night two i was 25 26 years old and i lost my mind i didn't care about going to jail i was getting in her place it was sick i did a video about it i told him myself people laughed at me made fun of me so i'm able to deal with that now mm -hmm. but with him <clears throat> now you're going to always be his property we're gonna, because you got away we're, we're gonna we're gonna do something here tell them it, hopefully I'm on the same page with you, but correct me if I'm wrong. Tell them why were you stalking them, but stalking her? In February of 1991, I woke up. I was in San Diego. Woke up with my girlfriend and said, hey, uh, I don't like you anymore. <clears throat> but I was setting the stage to be able to sleep with various women overseas. We were deploying. Mm -hmm. So narcissistic people pre-stage. So I, at least I did. And she got up. We got into a fight. I didn't hit her. She slapped me and threw things at me. I walked out of the house. Um, we were gone for 90 days. We went to Japan and the South China Sea and all this stuff. And I called back home a couple months later. And she said, I can't talk to you right now. I have company. And it was 5 o'clock in the morning. Once you heard a narcissistic person, all they see is you being the enemy. Mm -hmm. We pulled into San Diego. And I started stalking her because... I didn't think it was fair for her to leave me, but I left her. I told her I didn't like her, I didn't love her, and I was going to cheat. I told her I was going to cheat. And you, you were, you were overseas cheating while she was right, exactly trying to be faithful for me in San Diego. I was overseas. Mm -hmm. When I yep. came back, she had a boyfriend, but I had pushed her away, and so I broke into her apartment, went to her job, went to her job, went to her house, went to her friends, left notes on her car, tried to break in her car. It was I was a hot mess. Well. Yeah. Yeah, and then mm -hmm. at that time we had been together for five years. I went downtown San Diego, went to the pawn shop, got a ring, went to the flower shop, got a bouquet of flowers, went into her job, and the lady was like, "You can't come here." I was like, "Shut the hell up, get out!" I didn't hit mm -hmm. there, walked by her, went in my girlfriend's. Well, she was my girlfriend in her office, got on one knee and asked her to marry me. After I told her I didn't like her love, and I told her I cheated, but months later I asked her to marry me. After I chased her around for almost a year. Wow. Asked her to marry me, and she told me no. Worst thing you can do is tell me no, and then change your mind later. Because I was able to go away, cry. I stopped taking showers for months. I was in the navy. Hmm. I was a leader. I stopped brushing my teeth again. The same thing that happened to me as a child when my parents got divorced. I went back to my childhood ways. <clears throat> One night, my sister got me out off the ship because I was sleeping on the ship. Went out. I met a girl, Puerto Rican girl. We danced. We kissed. I felt better, and. I stopped stalking my girlfriend. When I stopped stalking her, she started coming towards me. And I said, hmm. I got my confidence back up. She asked me to marry her. I said, yes. I waited another year. I told her I didn't want to get married. I canceled the wedding and I left and went to Cleveland as a recruiter. Did you right. feel a loss? Did you feel like you lost something or were you just jealous? Both. I was yeah. empty. I yeah. felt like I lost yeah. something. I was very, very, very jealous. Narcissistic. There's not a man that's narcissistic in this world. Old woman, tell me they're not jealous. It yeah. turns into rage. You said you you found someone else to be with, and then she came towards you. What did you start to recognize? A dynamic of power you had, or attention? What was it? You thought all of a sudden you said, "Wait a minute." She's right. Attention. When she started giving me an attention, because for years she was running away. She dated this guy. Mm -hmm. His ring. I was jealous. She I got him back. So that's why I was telling Susie that her guy, because she won. And the fact that yeah, yeah, one, yeah, yeah, yeah. he's oh. about it. Oh, yes. The worst thing it's scary. Scary. Yes. <laughs> the worst thing she could do is go back to him because he will never. He will end your life. He will. 
it was bad. I yeah. went back, what, eight, 10, 12 times. Okay, slept in my car, homeless. He had me arrested, falsely accused of stuff. And then finally, when he ended up with this last person, that was like, I couldn't even stoop any lower. <laughs> and thank God, it was like my, my psychiatrist is like, it was a blessing in disguise. He beat me to the point of you couldn't recognize me. They had to do plastic surgery on my face, put me back together. I'll be in therapy for the rest of my life.